Hi guys, this is Tim from OCTV and I'm here with Roman, Master Judge of the MOA 2014. Hi Roman. Hey Tim. <laughs> <laughs> what is so funny about that? The Master Judge thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're here at the MOA Finals in Taipei and uh, this year again MSI invited uh, top overclockers that qualified with a lot of competitions and so there's 18 overclockers plus one this, which is Tosi that won last year. What do you think about the, the lineup? Lineup is incredible. We have a lot of uh, good overclockers, also new faces, uh, good old overclockers like uh, Vivi. But we also have Dr. Reese, for example. It's like mm. like a, a upcoming star, I would say, from South Africa. Uh, Vivi basically taught him how it works, and he made it to MOA in like one year, which is pretty pretty incredible. Yeah, indeed. And we also have uh, some new guys like the, the the guy from Indonesia, for example, that yeah. we haven't seen yet. And then we have also a lot of the usual guys I would say it's those yeah. those guys that qualify every year because wow that that's how it works yeah. like, like extreme addict yeah it's like a constant ticket for MOA <laughs> <laughs> well last year he performed not too bad in the end so it was quite well it's quite logic we see him this year again yeah well this year I don't, I don't think he's doing that well well I hear he his CPU is not that awesome no actually it was not even his fault because oh. uh, the SSD was broken oh. so he could not even even on stock he could not run the settings so yeah <laughs> All right. So talking about uh, MOA hardware and uh, what's uh, what's on for MOA, what is the hardware for this year's competition? For MOA? Yes. Uh, well, uh, for Classic Battle, we're uh, using the 4790K and a uh, special version of the GTX 780 Ti Lightning. Mm -hmm. It's basically a version which is only available for, for this competition, a special LN2 version where you don't have to mod anything. Yeah. You have a special panel you can attach to the card to change the voltages. Oh. And yeah, for the freestyle battle today, later today and tomorrow, you can basically use everything you want. The, the, the goal is just to break as many records as you can, or top scores, yeah. or HW, what we'd call it. Okay. So the motherboard is the Z90, uh, Z97, right? Or Z, what is it? I'm confused. Yeah, Z97. Yes, Z97. And power. And power, yes. Yeah. I'm confused with the X99. <laughs> <laughs> so what, no X99, right? Or tomorrow is it the tomorrow. Yeah, of course. Uh, for today, it's only Z97 M power and the 470K mm. uh, into Devil's Canyon. Yep. Uh, but tomorrow, they can basically use whatever they want. They can even use Ivy Bridge E. So you can even use X79. Yeah. And tomorrow, the X99 board is provided by MSI, right? Yes. CPU as well? Yep. Okay. But it's actually provided by Intel. <laughs> All right. So you have to bring it back, right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> All right. So this is uh, talking about uh, competition hardware. Now let's talk about the uh, competition benchmarks, right? So the selection is very similar to last year, Classic Battle, which is uh, three benchmarks, uh, two hours per benchmarks, and at the end, it's the same per central gain uh, sum of points that is all calculated in one so ranking. Yeah. That's how it works. Yeah, we just start with uh, SuperPi uh, 32M, Cinebench R15, and 3D Mark Firestrike uh, at the end, yeah. Mm, okay. So um, those benchmarks, there's, uh, what, what, what was the, the reason for selecting those benchmarks? Uh, since you're the judge, maybe you can tell us. Well, basically, those three benchmarks cover everything. Uh, SuperPi 32M is, is very CPU dependent and also memory dependent. You have to tweak your memory right, otherwise you lose a lot of performance. Cinebench is not really memory dependent, so you can actually just run it with single channel memory, but it's very CPU dependent, so you have to have a strong CPU. And then you have for the Mac Firestrike, mm -hmm. which is very CPU and very GPU dependent, but also not very memory dependent. So it's like we cover everything with those three benchmarks. Yeah, and eventually, if you, you are not so lucky on the CPU, you can still score some okay points exactly. on the 3D Mark to catch up on it. Yeah, or if your CPU has a very bad yeah. encore, then well... E even though they get two CPUs, right? They get yeah. two 4790K CPUs, so they can actually uh, test one first, and if it's not that good, you can just replace it with a second one. That's right. So for the second day, uh, people can bring whatever they want among a... Well, for the second day, the guys can bring whatever they want, like a hardware of all sorts, like uh, everything that is allowed is like from 270. It's not, it's not really old hardware, it's like... Yeah, uh, it's from last, like from last year to up to today. Yeah, GTX much. 7 series, yeah. R9 series from AMD, and also the GTX 9 series, like the, the new ones yeah. from, a, from NVIDIA. And for the benchmarks, there's 15 of them. Yeah, Can don't, you don't, don't, don't ask <laughs> me to repeat those. You don't know the list? <laughs> well... <laughs> uh, all right, well, there's a long list of benchmarks, which actually gives you quite a lot of opportunities to, uh, to get a few points here and there, depending what, what hardware well, you have that is capable of something. You have to keep in mind, for example, we have 10 or let's say 5 3D marks. Yeah. If you have a 3D mark Firestrike Extreme, you can run single card, dual card, triple card, quad card. Yeah. So if I would list all the combinations, it would be like probably like 200 or 300 combinations you could use. Wow, so probably tomorrow there would be like submissions all the time, uh, I yeah. suppose. And probably all kind of submissions like you can use a GTX 750 mm. or 
R9 280 triple uh, triple crossfire, whatever you want to do. Yeah. So if you had to describe MOA 2014 in a few words, what would you say? Incredible. I think we found it incredible. They found it. All right. So thanks very much, Roman, and uh, we'll see you after the competitions for some more details on thanks. what happened and stuff. Thank you.